So today I'm here at the Flat Island Preserve and uh, it's just down from the villages. You come down 441 slash uh, 27 and then uh, right at the Rural King, bear to the right on 27. And then you'll come down uh, well a ways past 44 and then you'll see a big sign that says Flat Island Preserve and it's it's a nice paved, uh, very narrow, <laughs> and, uh, dual, you know, just a two lane road, uh, but you know, it's marked down the middle. And then as you come down, you'll see a sign and it's say Flat Island Preserve to the right. And it's real easy to miss. It's a dirt road. And I uh, said, so when it, you see that sign, take the very next right. And then you got to come a ways down that dirt road. And then you end up in this uh, weird parking area. But let me just read to you what this place is uh, before we get started. I'll try to just swing around and give you a view of the place while I'm while I'm reading. So this 2,300-acre conservation area known as Flat Island Preserve is located in southwest Leesburg, just north of Lake Denham. This preserve protects two beautiful woodland air islands, uh, Flat Island and Magnolia Island, and the vital wetlands that surround them. In addition to hiking, canoes, paddles, and flotation vests are available by making prior arrangements through the LCWA office. So I guess we're going to see, uh, well, and primitive camping is available by permit only for groups and backpackers at three locations within the preserve. The group camping area is located near the parking area and restrooms. A uh, private primitive campsite is located on the western end of the main loop trail. There's also a primitive campsite on the Magnolia Island, which can be accessed by canoe or kayak. There is no water source, so water must be carried in. And then it just says from Highway 27 south of Leesburg, take CR 25A to Owens. That's Owens Road, by the way. I was trying to remember the name of the road coming in. So, uh, well, let's just get started. <laughs> oh, uh, well, well, we'll get it here in just a second. All right, as I'm getting started, um, this is a vinegar. It says 50% uh, vinegar, 50% water. Now, I was going to use another vinegar, but I tell you, you get what you pay for. These bottles you can buy at Amazon. And you see I've just got it labeled. Uh, I had another bottle that I did not buy at Amazon and when I put it in the car it started linking and I use cleaning vinegar, vinegar which is a bit stronger than well and this is actually broke down 50% water but what you do because it is uh, ticks are out ticks are out this is May uh, 6th 2023 so I'm going to show you I'm just going to spray it around the ankle I oh, had a fly biting on me right there so vinegar, it'll help a bit. Still going to be checking. Uh, that's about it. Uh, let's get on the trail. I, like I said, I wish I had it stronger. I'll put some on my clothes. Uh, you know, if you can't stand the smell of vinegar, there's other ways. There's also a bunch of other uh, solutions to the uh, tick problem other than vinegar. Uh, I didn't look it up uh, with the locals. They've got uh, some other ways and. I got it on the computer at home, but I just brought the vinegar today because I'm really not expecting any ticks here. But I took a group up on the uh, Yingling Trail, which uh, if you watch that video, everybody got ticks. Uh, one person had 17 ticks. Another one had more. He said they had like 32 ticks. I had one little teeny little baby guy. Um, but uh, yeah, and the other thing to make note of here is we've got the uh, bathrooms and of course no pets. Uh, so everybody wants to know those things. And I have no idea. Boy, I tell you, wouldn't that be a fun place? Look at them dogs. So I wonder if that's the, um, oh, it says preserve residence. Wow, wouldn't it be a great job to be, <laughs> to work for the state, live in, live in a house back here in the woods? I, oh man, this, this he's got it, he's styling. That would be a great, great job, great setup. All right, let's get on the trail. So as I'm coming in, uh, we do have the sign here. They do have a sign in board. I'll hit that on my way out. Uh, and of course they've got the uh, Flat Island Preserve brochure if you want to get one of those. Uh, I won't do that uh, just because I don't want to use them up. Um, but if you want to read all about the uh, preserve, I'm going to get this on the video. And I can look at this letter also. Just pause right there. And then pause right there. And then, whoa, back up. Pause right there. And then pause right there. And then, whoa, well, pause right there. 
Okay, I hope I'm seeing uh, boy, the clouds behind me. I don't know if you've got reflections coming off the glass of what, what I'm seeing. Uh, so here's the trail system. I'm looking at it. It doesn't give you... Oh, here we go. Let's see. Canoe distance to Magnolia Island, 2.39 miles. Canoe distance to Lake Denham, 0.33 miles. From trail start to canoe dock, uh, 0.8 miles. So I, I don't know. They don't give you really a distance. We're just going to hike around back here for the rest of the afternoon. It doesn't get dark till about, well, 7.30. I'm hoping to get out about 7 o'clock. It's, it's, uh, I think it's about 3 o'clock right now. Got a little bit late start. Stopped at Rural King. By the way, I'm not impressed with Rural King. The other thing uh, you might want to do is there's a little library uh, case here. If you want to give people some books to read, uh, bring a book, put it in there. I just wanted to make note here, uh, no bicycles. And then also we've got uh, a little uh, fire pit and a picnic area over here. So if you want to bring some firewood with a group and uh, have a fire afterwards, I don't know if you have to clear that with the ranger or not, but I would imagine not. I don't think he would mind if you just had a small fire. Uh, let's read this sign right here. The uh, Dom Ben Mir Trail, named in honor of renowned botanist uh, Rexford and Jean Dom Ben, ben Mir, who devoted uh, service to Lake County Water Authority and Flat Island Preserve, advanced the cause of environmental protection in Lake County March 14, 1998. Um, well, it does say sign in before entering the trail, so I'm going to head back. But you've got a, got a picnic table right here, and then there's a sign right up here as we enter into the trail. Actually, I'm just going to sign in when I get back. What are they going to do? Uh, so let's see. I imagine that's so that they know somebody's back here. So yeah, I will go back, but I just want to get this sign real quick on the, um, on the video. Let's see. Uh, Flat Island Wildflower Meadow. Whoa, more than 6,600 acres of public land. The largest is the 2,000 Flat Island Preserve purchased in 1990. And we kind of read about that in the beginning. So I'm going to sit here and read all of this. Uh, plant species, beneficial, uh, beneficial uh, pollinators. Pretty cool. I don't know what this is signifying. Maybe this is the trail coming out, but I'm going to go this way. Let's get started. All right, so we're just getting started on the trail. It, boy, if it looks like this the whole way, I didn't have to worry about ticks, that's for sure. Um, there's a red mark. It's funny how the, you know, the, the Florida Trail is marked orange, I guess orange for Florida. And you get out, a lot of trails are blue. I see the blue marks. Uh, rarely do I see a red mark, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, that's cool. Uh, boy, I tell you, this might be a, a really easy well, when I say easy, I don't know how long it's going to be, but uh, look at this trail. I mean, boy, this is uh, this is going to be nice. And wow, let's just get kind of a view. Just getting started. I'm telling you, this is quite beautiful. I think I've nailed it today. Woohoo! So we're coming up on a fork in the trail, and there's the uh, symbol saying "turn to the right." Uh, you know, like I said, I was going to say you're well, just walking down a road. Uh, well, who knows? Maybe it looks, it looks more like a trail. Uh, in memory of John Alton Weary, designer and builder of trails, uh, Florida Trail Association. Uh, that's wonderful that they put something up like that. Uh, like I said, I have my foundation, and I will be donating to a lot of the trails. Maybe they'll give me a plaque. I should talk to my, uh, my foundation. I did say I want an attribution somewhere for giving my state to the county to, uh, well, Marion County to help build trails there. Uh, not in Marion County. I think this is Lake County. Uh, anyway, but I got to get out to, and enjoy. But this is what the trail's looking like. Um, boy, I tell you, this is going to be a great, great hike. And boy, I nailed the weather too. It's cloudy and it was raining over on my side of town. It's only a 15% chance of rain. Which in Florida might as well be 90 most of the time. <laughs> you know, you never know. These guys, I, I swear, I, I, you, if I could get a job, it'd be a weather forecaster because I can be wrong 50% of the time, and uh, I still keep my job. So, but uh, check it out. Really, really cool. Really awesome trail. That is really neat. Okay, well, I'm sure we're going to see lots of things along the way. 
this will probably be a long video but we'll see I'd, I I I bet if I got one of those uh, flat island brochures it probably would have given me information because if you noticed on the marker back there was a but I kind of I just like being out here where I don't know squat <laughs> you know and I've got I got four hours to get back to the car and uh, usually that's more than enough on these trails uh, even a seven mile trail I'm gonna eventually get back and these trails I don't tend to be that long I don't remember what it said for this uh, but anyway I'm not gonna not gonna worry about it if I get out here and I, that, that's you know that's what I do if I get out in uh, two hours and I realize that I'm still going <laughs> you know with, without turning back see the Sun right now is right here so it, it since it's three o'clock in the afternoon that means that we are more or less heading west so I just keep an eye on that Sun and uh, if, if it stays to the west side after two hours, <laughs> then, then it's time to turn around and go back. But as long as that sun starts moving to the left or to the right, then uh, you know you're kind of looping around, which is, that's pretty sure. I, this has got to be a loop trail, I, I would imagine for sure. So this might be a real short egg. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is that road uh, that was running next to the trail, I imagine, heading back. Uh, but if, if we really just go in 0.65 miles, uh, I'm going to come back and uh, we'll take the road this way and just see where it goes. Because uh, I plan to be here at least, uh, well, three hours for sure. So let's just keep going on the trail, but it's kind of more of the same. Uh, I, you know, I like the lighting on a cloudy day. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It just kind of gives you that eerie, weird feeling like we're descending well, I guess we are kind of in a swamp. <laughs> We're descending into the swamp and uh, hiking down the trail. Boy, I tell you, it's, uh, it is definitely 100% well maintained. Uh, not, a, not a bug out. Uh, I haven't had any flies buzzing me. Of course, I do have the floppy hat on this time. I was a bit worried about that and I haven't had any mosquito problems. So, you know, we're in early May. Uh, and you know the mosquitoes they're out but they're not out in force and it hasn't rained in a while uh, so we've had some dry weather so I could see where this would be quite muddy last time I was I actually I came out here to hike this trail once before and it uh, it rained like cats and dogs and I said no way am I gonna go out on the trail I mean it's a long drive for me and I was really disappointed and then I just had to drive home uh, by the way too you if you if you do come this way from uh, the villages or Del Webb or or 75 or wherever, uh, well 75 you can just take 44 straight straight shot, and that wouldn't be bad. But if you're coming, you know, from the northern villages, I recommend getting over on uh, 301 and take that down to 44. That's what I'm going to do on my way back to bypass because all that construction around the Home Depot on 441 is just a pain in the butt. Well, we got a we got a fork in the trail coming up. Let's check this out. So let's see what we got. For sure, we're going to go down to the boardwalk first. Ah, see, I told you we're going to get lots of hiking in today. So this is what, I, yeah, okay. So now we're, we've just been on an uh, entry trail. So this is the main loop, 2.5 miles that way, and then uh, well, it says south, but <laughs> I don't see a trail. I, I don't know what it's talking about. Um, of course, the trail here, we've, so we've only been 0.5 miles. But of course, uh, well, let's see. Uh, it says B. Well, I'm just going to keep going straight. So I don't know why it says 2.5. I guess maybe that's the loop, the total length of the loop, I imagine. But anyway, let's just keep going straight. This is just showing if you're coming from this direction that you would make a left to head back, but I, well, it's well marked with the sign. Look at, somebody hit it with a shotgun. Yeah, dang it, people. Everybody wants to sabotage everything. All right, let's go. Always nice to see along the way. Got a bench here. Not much of a view. You're just looking at that bush. <laughs> but, but, but hey, at least uh, it's a place where you can sit down. You know, always funny. I, I, you know, you never see uh, short people got nobody to you, know, you gotta have some long legs to sit on that bench but that's all right uh you know that that's good because uh, short people can just let his foot 
Might be like me, you just let your feet hang and just kick them back and forth like you, like in the movies there. All right. Well, we're gonna get lots of hiking in here. We're at position C. It says North Trail, 0.2 miles this way. You know what, I'm gonna hit this now because I'm, <laughs> sometimes on the way back out, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm way too tired. I would love to see where that goes, but 0.2 miles. Let's uh, let's go down here and uh, check it out. It said, now this is now a Blue Mark Trail. So let's see where at the, at the end of 0.2 miles, what it looks like. So I'm still on the North Trail and I didn't want to not get a clip of this. Isn't that cool with the trees and uh, trail? Uh, this is kind of what the trail's continuing to look like. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I'm surprised I haven't been 0.2 miles, but uh, that's okay. I'm enjoying the hike. Uh, it is, at least you're kind of able to see over the foliage a little bit. <laughs> now, I, you know, uh, and I tell you, they, they've done a good job, uh, even on this trail, maintaining it. Now, I'm not sure what it'd be like in the summertime. I, you know, if you get to be June, July, August, uh, maybe even September, uh, if this grows up a bit, uh, you, you might... You might hit some uh, spiders and uh, ticks, long grass, uh, who knows, uh, but with that ranger back there. Oh, by the way, a pattern for uh, people who um, might have uh, medical conditions or whatever, this would be a great trail to hike, because what I'm seeing is that main road kind of goes right through all the trails, it just continues along, and I imagine that's uh, there so that the uh, ranger can get to you. No problem, I thought we would end up what do we end up on? Well, okay. Now that's uh, that's the red trail. Anyway, I guess the south trail just might be a cut across. Well, let's go back and uh, continue down the other way. I thought we were going to something. I don't know why they called it the north trail. Maybe it's north to cut off some of the loop if you just wanted a short hike. Because that takes you back. Yeah, I guess you could do it. And this would be a real short hike for you. You know, just wanted to, if, well, I imagine if you lived in Leesburg, you could just come right here and do a quick hike. Uh, boy, I tell you, I, I, this would be wonderful if I worked nearby just to come here during lunchtime, do a quick loop, and then head back to work. All right, we're back on the red trail. Check this out. Does this look cool or what? Woo, kind of scary. <laughs> really. You really feel like you're back in here, don't you? Let's uh Wow, just want to see what comes up as I get through the roots here. Yeah, you see that grass hanging over the side? That can have ticks on it, so maybe it's just a good thing I did spray with the, uh, the vinegar. Although that's nowhere near as bad as uh, I'd be worried about. Pretty cool, nice transition. Ways further along, much different look, huh? Kind of a sandy, viney area. It is, a, it is a trail. I mean, you're brushing up against some stuff here. You might want to check yourself. By the way, uh, ticks, another little tidbit uh, for you. And I always forget to put it in on the video. Just throw, uh, strip down, throw the clothes in the washing machine and cut it on right away. And uh, that will kill the ticks. At least it has worked for me. I don't want to guarantee it, but uh, it'll kill the ticks down in that washing machine. And then, uh, and then you can just get your clothes back out. That way you don't, because it's just impossible. To get the ticks off the clothes i mean they come and those things you sometimes some of them you need a magnifying glass to see them you know so uh that way you know and then of course take a shower <laughs> you know, the, the obvious thing uh, but uh th that's the good way to just uh, take care of the clothes uh especially if you see it i mean if you don't see a single tick i don't know i wouldn't worry about it i, I usually just throw my clothes in there but uh, i did that one time and man the whole house was infested. <laughs> it, was, it was a disaster. That was back when I was married. Oh my God, I thought my wife was going to have a heart attack. So we got a new look. Uh, but the main thing was, I want to show you another bench along the way. Uh, and a little better view this time. <laughs> you know, look, you're not looking at a bush right in your face. At least you can kind of peer off into the woods there. Uh, boy, I tell you, if, uh, if something jumped out at back, back here, I... I dare say you wouldn't have much time to react, <laughs> but uh, but it is uh, really a beautiful trail, and I picked a perfect day. Uh, slightly humid, uh, could be a bit more breezy, but uh, I don't know. I nailed it. Sun's still extremely high in the sky. We got a long day ahead, so I'm trying to probably taking too much video. I'm 
calm down. I had to get this on the video. Check out that oak tree, huh? Tentacles going to the left to the right. I think we're getting ready to cross that road that I was telling you. Just kind of bisects the trails or it could be another trail. Let's take a look. I have no idea. It's not marked. There's no letter on here. Well, I don't think we'll be back this way, but if ever come back, I'd like to walk down that and see what that is. I always love these boardwalks. You know, can you imagine the amount of work that goes into making one of these? I just, uh, they are really cool. And I imagine, you know, when it rains, it's got to be quite swampy through here. And the ground underneath here is very, very soft. I can tell you that just from having hiked through some of this. <laughs> well, not quite that, but I mean back there when it was a bit drier. So, but isn't this cool? Let's uh, let's get a panoramic here uh, just at the turn. Look at this. Definitely a trail that if you live in Central Florida, this is uh, this is worth uh, it's worth a moment of your time, people. Holy moly, I'm really enjoying this. So I'm continuing down the boardwalk. And, you know, look at this. How did they put this thing in? I guess you, you you put it in and then pound it and then put it in and then pound it because you wouldn't want to be down in that swamp you know, but putting poles in the ground or whatever. Uh, check out the lizard. Oh, man, you missed him. There it goes. Oh, so many lizards here. I just wanted to get this on the video. So I'm coming up to these benches. This is pretty cool. Oh, we're coming up to the water. Perfect timing to cut the video on, huh? So look, you could set your canoes right here. You got a place to sit down. Not sure what would be in there, but it's probably some canoeing supplies, maybe for a, uh, a provider. Uh, let's see if there's anything on this. Uh, it does have a picture of the, uh, well, it says you are here. So boy, I tell you, <laughs> I got to get back to here at some point, but you can see I can hike around back here for quite some time, not figure things out. Uh, Look, way over here is a primitive campground. How the hell do you get over there? I don't know. That says the Magnolia Island. Oh, I see. Well, I don't know. There's a trail going this way. Well, if I end up all the way out there, I'm going to be here a long time. God dang it. Sorry, bugs are on me. Let's get a look at the uh, canoe area. Boy, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Man, this would be a cool place to bring a fishing pole. Something just jumped in the water right there. Wow. This would be really, really cool. Look at the bird. Check him out flying down the, the creek. I call that a creek, but uh, maybe they call it a river here. Oh, this would be awesome. Imagine the gators are in there. <laughs> you know, that's one thing, you know, when you're canoeing or kayaking one of these, I would... I would not want to go over in water like this. I would just freak the hell out. Because what are you going to do? I mean, you're going to paddle over to over here to try to right the canoe back. Because you got to be, well, I guess you could probably stand up maybe you're over in here. And squishy bot. Oh, my God. I'd, I'd be freaked out. All right, let's go back and make that left and see where that goes. I'm a ways down the trail. Uh, I've already made that left way back now. I, the red markers aren't here, so I guess I'm on the red loop. Check it this out, though. Isn't this cool? Got the palms hanging off to the side and then that uh, tree cut down there. I just thought that was a cool look. Oh, ways along. Trail crew hasn't uh, taken this limb off. Uh, so, but, uh, you know, I just, it's a kind of a um, unique trail in the fact that they're really, <laughs> there's not a lot of transitions. It's just kind of more and more of the same. So I just wanted to show that limb down on the trail as I see something, but I'm really not going to take any more video until there's something unique. Uh, so that'll be it, because uh, it's just, I think we've seen about all we're going to see uh, for now until uh, something, you know, like a bench or another turn or, or marker comes up. But there's no reason to just sit here and keep uh, making video along the trail, because there's really not that much of a transition. Now I do like see how it's winding along. I do always point that out. That's a sign of a good trail. You, know, you don't want to go in straight. But you do have these magnificent oak trees here off to the right. Oh geez, I cut it on just perfect time. <laughs> We're coming up on a side. I tell you, I, 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 I'm timing the videos uh, quite uh, correctly here. So let's see what this is. 
uh, North Trail, 0.4 miles. Well, we, we've been to that. And uh, Trailhead, 1.4 miles. So at least we haven't been very far at all, have we? So, uh, and I don't know what the double blue, well, the double blue mark means turn, oh, turn left, I guess, if you wanted to do the North Trail. Uh, we'll continue on down the Red Trail. Boy, perfect, so I'm at uh, marker E. All right. Like I said, I don't cut it on unless we get something. Look at the spiders in this web. Let's see if I can get them. Couldn't remember with the dog on cameras on the left or the right. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so you probably just looking at web there. I, well, I got to edit this anyway, so I'll try to cut out the uh, part that didn't show the spider. No, I should say I won't do anything. I just thought this was a cool look. Kind of like staring down a tunnel. All right. Another scenic video. Man, look at this. This is cool, isn't it? I just thought that was a real, really cool look. Uh, man, this is a, this is just an amazing trail. I'm so glad I came out here to do it. It's, like I said, it's a bit of a drive, but not not crazy. We're gonna get in some, uh, talk about future videos just for just a second, and I do want to venture out uh, into some, uh, you know, two-hour drives. Uh, maybe get to the Gulf Coast and do some stuff uh, around in there. We've already done some of that. Uh, but we'll keep going. We're going to keep getting further and further out. Uh, eventually, uh, hopefully, and maybe not this summer, but uh, I do want to start camping again. I think I can do it. Uh, if I'm, you know, if I'm having a good time, I like I said, I was sick earlier this week, so I got to be real careful when I go on these hikes to make sure I'm in perfect shape, which means an entire morning of pampering myself and drinking coffee and making sure everything feels okay and, uh, Doing some work around the house to see if uh, anything acts up or, you know, the, if all of a sudden, I, because sometimes I just get uh, real dizzy or tired. I just never know what the day is going to expect. Now, this one I am going to get a close-up on the camera. Check this guy out. And I know I got him. All right. Man, I gotta have this got to be two videos. Look at this thing. Just walking along, and then it suddenly comes right up into that. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Just too much scenery on this trail. Sun's behind a big cloud. Kind of scary. Scary look. Continuing along, we got a real bench here. Now, that'd be a great place to sit. In fact. If I brought my water, I'd avail myself of that, but stupid me. I brought crackers and I'm thirsty. I <laughs> so you can't, can't be chewing on some crackers right now, I can tell you that. All right, so this is kind of unique. Uh, we got some metal here along the trail. Scrappers beware. And we got a uh, spider right there. And you got these wild looking trees right there. And then we're coming up on a sign right here. So I thought, well, we got to get a clip of all this. <laughs> There's too much going on not to uh, see what's going on here. So let's see what we got. I bet this might be the north trail that we saw, that 0.4 mile. Let's see. Campground, 60 yards. Well, we got to check that out. I was thinking coming up here, I'm so mad that I broke my neck because I can't backpack right now. Maybe I'll get better and better. Well, I have been getting better and better, but I've kind of plateaued for a while. I'm lucky that I can get out and hike. Uh, but check this out, man. For a primitive camping area during the wintertime, this would be awesome. You know, I always uh, wonder about these fire pits. I mean, well, I guess you could bring in, that'd be a hell of a load to carry, though, with one of those fire logs. But I wanted to get, uh, we've got that on the video, and I'm not sure... Let's check this sign out. That is a nice touch to have a picnic table. It's a primitive camping area. Permits are required. Yeah, we know that. Uh, and just so you know, if somebody watching the video, you call 352-324-6141. Uh, of course, from 830 to 5. Uh, permits are required for camping and canoe rentals. Now, I, don't, I guess, well, it looks like Lake County would provide those to you. I don't know how they would get them to you. I mean, what are they going to do? Tie them up at the dock down there? So let's see what we're coming up on right here. So hold on. We've got another post. 
non-potable water. Okay, that's good to know. Because <laughs> I'd be stupid enough to try to drink it. And then, so here it goes. Uh, primitive camping area, trailhead 1.08 miles. And uh, let's see. I thought we, well, we're coming down, if you can, we're coming down the road, it's just another post talking about the uh, preserve. Let's see if it shows where we are. Yeah, isn't it funny? They put these damn signs up. You'd think that they put, you are here. <laughs> you know, I mean, how difficult is it? Man, stick, just stick a little pen right in there, you know, right right there. You know, you guys put, put a little pen in my, in my, at that primitive camping area. Of course, I, that's probably where we are. Well, I'm guessing. I don't know. Who knows? You know, put a pen in there. You are here. Dag on it. All right, let's get back on the, the other trail. Like I said, the road, uh, this this is, I'm guessing this is the same road that just comes all the way through. So the good news is if you had a problem, as long as you got a phone that can contact uh, the emergency services, they should be able to get back here to you. So that'll be good. So I'm an hour and 40 minutes into the hike. Of course, we've made a lot of detours and stops and gazed at rivers and been across boardwalks. And uh, now the sun's peeking out, so we got a cool, different look, but not because of necessarily the foliage, but uh, because of the sun uh, peeking out. So I just thought I'd get that on the video. Well, I hate to cut the hike short, but I was stupid and didn't bring water. But uh, anyway, I'm still on the red trail, so I should be working my way around. I can handle another hour and a half, but I don't want to be back here till 7 o'clock. So we're coming up on a, a bench here. Let's see what the sign says. Uh, trailhead. There you go, 1.2 miles. That's perfect. And there's the south trail. Well, I think we did that already. Isn't that uh, where we came up? No, it's just point four. Oh, that's the point four miles that goes back uh, towards the uh, the river. Okay, so where was the trail? I didn't see it that would take us over to the Magnolia campground. I don't know, I'm gonna grab uh, that uh, preserve uh, brochure that I said I wasn't gonna grab. And it should be a uh, map on there and try to figure out how I missed that. But uh, let's see, we got uh, 1.2 miles left. No big deal. Uh, so there's the South Trail and we did the North Trail already. I'm not gonna do, I, if I was really being uh, in shape, I'd do the South Trail. And, uh, and add another 0.8 miles, but no, nope, I'm, I'm ready to get some water, munch on some crackers, get a protein bar. <laughs> you know, that's the beauty of hiking, man. It's like, okay, you start out and you're all excited, especially for a new hike like this, for me. You know, and that's why I love, I love making these videos when it's a virgin hike. But at the same time, I, well, I, what I try to do is I go back and I do, the, there it is, a lizard. But you see him, oh, dang, oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, uh, dang it, they're so scared, timid little creatures. I should know, I, well, I, I feel bad. I mean, how are they going to know whether I'm a predator or not? But anyway, uh, I was going to talk about what I do is, uh, if you go way back in my videos, I've done a lot of the trails that I do again. And the, the nice thing about doing a trail a second time and making a second video is you can add commentary about what's coming up, you know, what's down where, uh, you know, you can... Uh, talk about uh, other things to see that you did a lot of time and then that's another thing sometimes you catch things that you didn't catch on the first try that was another lizard I was trying to get him on the video but uh, unless I see something really uh, wild uh, this might be well it won't be the last clip I'm sure you know but I let's just uh, enjoy the last 1.2 miles and call it a day you can see him at Armadillo scared the hell out of me. He ran right across my feet. <laughs> you can barely see his tail as he's moving along. Holy moly, big little guy. I don't know if they bite. Somebody to put a comment below. Does a, can an armadillo uh, bite? Yeah, I guess if he's... Well, they got a big shell on him, you know. I don't know. Scared to... I bet he was sleeping. Because I, I, I bet I scared the hell out of him. Because he scared the hell out of me. Well, nothing new to see. But uh, uh, something very unusual for me. <laughs> I actually... Uh, bumped into two people going the other way. It was very nice. Uh, that's uh, very unusual for <laughs> when I go off trail. I usually don't see nobody, but uh, that was pretty cool. It's glad to see them, and they're going to be very happy because I did bust down with my face uh, two cobwebs. Uh, now I don't. I didn't. It didn't feel a spider crawling on me, so I didn't freak out. It just kind of all the webbing just kind of enveloped around my face, and uh, I just rubbed it all off. 
So uh, that that's good. I, I I trailblazed it for them. They're, they're going to have a little better experience than I did. All right. I wanted to uh, finish up the video right here. This is the Flat Island uh, uh, Wildflower Meadow, and uh, we saw this on the way in. And I guess you could come out here, and uh, it looks like you got. Well, I'm not sure if it's a trail, but. Uh, it looks like you could hike around in this meadow for a while, and I imagine during the summertime that uh, there's probably a lot of flowers in here. I'm guessing. So I just wanted to come out a ways. You know, if we go back this way, we're going to be right at the uh, the trailer. I guess maybe this is just kind of a landmark because I don't see. I was hoping maybe there might be a little round trail that just kind of goes around the meadow. Wouldn't that be nice if the ranger, you know, if I were the ranger here, that's exactly what I would do. I would cut in a trail, you know, because he's bored, I imagine, sometimes, and just cut in a little trail. Just, and, and then, you know, mark it maybe with some little uh, historic uh, things, talk about the wildlife. You know, there's little posts that you put up so that uh, if somebody had coming back, they could just go for a quick stroll. Just an idea for the park crew. Hey, park crew. All right, so let's summarize the hike. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you got, I, I can feel the breeze now, and so you're it, even on a breezy day, you're not going to get the breeze that you think you're going to get because you're pretty under the canopy the whole way. Uh, very, I didn't break out into any areas. Not many transitions. You're kind of seeing more or less the same thing as you saw in the video. Uh, will I come back? Yeah, betcha. <laughs> All right, peace out, stay free. It's good, good, good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.